Okay, here we are with the next one, which is Android 4.4. Just a quick note, um, I'm sorry about the flickering in these um, videos. I realised, like, it's not often that bad, but it does flicker a bit, often when I'm moving windows around and stuff like that in the recording. So I'm just trying to avoid doing that kind of thing to keep it looking nice and non-headache inducing for you guys. But, um, yeah, there's that. Also, hopefully my voice is coming across okay with this, because before I was using my phone to record my voice, and because my voice is pretty deep it just doesn't work. Hopefully, hopefully this time, with, the, with these two last videos in this series, um, these two posts um, in this series, you can hear me better. I hope. Let me know if you can't, I'll try and figure something out. We're just going to try this. If it doesn't work, I'll try some of the other modes. So for doing the phone, I'm sorry, because I know that I'm recording like a whole screen here. But um, I tried recording just a small window, but it doesn't track the size of the window. So you know when this grows, when Android starts to load, it just means you can't see very much. So it was a pain. Okay, that's an interesting way to start. It's probably because of that's probably a virtual box thing, I think. Okay, so things I've please don't keep doing that. Okay. So things I've noticed immediately are these um what are they called? I can't remember what these buttons are called. Anyway, they were here, they're now here. Which maybe means it thinks I'm on the phone. Ah, this is more like, I don't know what it thinks, yeah, I don't know. This is more like the newer versions of Android though. I'll slide down from the top, rather than click the menu over here. So this is actually pretty different. That's good. That's something to talk about. Different app store. Not app store, different app drawer. Um, uh, that's it. Okay, so there's not any more stuff than that to look at. So same kind of thing as before. Super user, so I suppose this is rooted. Um, okay, so what else is there? Some nicer animations. Okay, right, not very much to look at there. Let's have a look at maybe this time the Play Store won't make me log in, or do you maybe you just always have to? Yeah, never mind, I think you always have to. We won't bother looking at that with the next one, so... I only scroll slide down now. I'm just so used to doing that, I don't think about it anymore. Okay. Because that's... I think it stayed like that, but it's on the left now. I change this with, like, every single one, I don't know why. It might be easier for people if I didn't. So, just to prove to you that I am running the newer version, if for some reason you need proof. 4.4.4 on VirtualBox. With a new kernel, wow, from 2016. Well, when I say new, it's two years old. Newish. And it does think it's on the tablet. Okay, well, that's interesting. I guess they changed it quite a lot then. It's not just it thinks it's on the phone, so it looks different. So, maybe the live wallpapers work this time. I like the live wallpapers. I want them to work. Let's try again. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, never mind. I think it's because it needs 3D acceleration. And because this is in VirtualBox, there isn't any of that. It's all being done by the CPU. So I think it doesn't like that. Never mind. Not too much in terms of customization here, because I can't install any apps or anything. I'll probably just say I have a zero percent battery because it doesn't know what's going on and stuff like that. So what default apps do we have on the checklist? Going back to the checklist. Same kind of things. Does the browser work? Wow, it's doing something. Yeah, I'm not going to install the Google app. I don't know, I never got the point of that. Not something I've tried, though. Oops. Just 
for interest. Also just for interest. I tried this with a really old version um, in the last last week's post, and it actually did reasonably well compared to old Internet Explorer versions, sadly. Yeah, so it's not great, but it's not terrible. It's like good enough to display most stuff, I think. Probably. I don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's not as good as the most not as good as desktop browsers, not as good as the newest ones. But it's much better than something like Internet Explorer 6, which I tried and I think it scored like 12 or something abominable like that. That's a complete joke. So, yeah, sort of the end of the list again. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, it's just crashed completely. VirtualBox says it's aborted as well. So, um, I don't think there was that much more to look at anyway, so we'll just cut it here, I think. Android 5 I have never really used, so I think that one should be pretty interesting, but we'll see. It'll be very different. I remember them hearing about them changing a lot of stuff for that version and also ruining people's battery life, but we'll just gloss over that. Um, see you in a couple of minutes.